the ice dancing event. The current standings have Francis Anasin and Pizarro in first. Russia's Lobacheva and Averbuk second, and Fusar Poli and Margaglio of Italy are third. Getting ready to take the ice, the five time United States national champions, Elizabeth Punselin and Jared Swallow, who are at home both on and off the ice. Every home has rules, and this one is no different. But every once in a while, Liz Punselin and Jared Swallow decide to break the rules of the house, throw caution to the wind, and do what comes most naturally. It's one of the things that makes these two so perfect for each other. Liz likes to, uh, um, she likes to analyze things a lot. He knows that I'm a perfectionist. And she'd like to solve uh, a room layout by maybe creating a math problem to do it. Jared is the optimist of the two of us. I mean, absolute, to the end of the earth, optimist. Things could be going terrible. Oh, it's going to turn out fine. And, and this, is, this goes on and on and on, and I know I drive her nuts sometimes. Liz and Jared are probably no different from any other young American married couple. They just happen to spend practically every moment of every day together. Their paths first crossed 14 years ago when Jared was 17 and Liz just 12. First time I saw Liz was at a, at a figure skating competition. She was uh, real cute and had quite a flair. The first time I noticed him, he was doing ballet in a corner with his two skating partners. I picked him out right away. It's embarrassing, but I even put my name with his last name, Elizabeth Swallow. I said, yeah, that's, that works. That works. Wedding bells came in 1993. But just eight days before their first Olympics, tragedy struck. Authorities in suburban Cleveland say that the father of Olympic ice dancer, Elizabeth Ponsalon, was found stabbed to death in his home last night. Liz's younger brother, released from a mental institution earlier that day, was charged with the crime. The hardest thing I've ever done in my life is, and I think it would be the hardest thing that anyone would have to go through, is to come and tell your wife that your father was just killed. I mean, it was awful. It's, he's the first person that I've ever been close to that's died, and to die in such a horrible way, I mean, just was so traumatic for me. Somehow, the two put their best faces forward and went to Lillehammer anyway. Skating was the easy part, I think. I mean, it's what I do every day and it was sort of calming for me. Uh, the hard part was when you weren't on the ice, having to deal with the reality of it. After all they had been through, Liz and Jared barely noticed they had finished 15th. By last season, they were sixth in the world and intent on more. But with a poor reception of this year's free dance, Liz and Jared scrapped it one month ago and will debut a new one. In their final Olympics, they want to give themselves every opportunity to climb the podium. It is really uh, the last hurrah and uh, we have nothing to lose. So uh, a, a medal would be, f would be fantastic. It would really be a great combination to our years of hard work and dedication. So America's first family of ice dancing gets ready to close one chapter and one day soon start another. Liz and I want to have a, have a family in a few years and uh, that's going to be a bigger deal than any Olympics or any gold medal. We live happily together and I hope it lasts forever. Now their USA. second Olympics. From the Detroit Skating Club. <laughs> Wonderful kids, Liz Punselin and Jared Swallow. For them to get through this program is key. It is brand new. They got a new program well, after the Nationals. I think it's terrific. also uh, punctured by a skate during warm-up, and we are told it's a small calf puncture. It's not bothering her. Now watch Jared 
boy, he feels this dance in his blood. each other into that move. Recovered nicely. Elizabeth Punselin. The Swallow family, John and Gay Swallow, here to watch their son and daughter-in-law as they have been through so many inter international events. I like the balance that this program had. They both had the same degree of difficulty. Very interesting choreography. That's difficult. And they really felt the rhythm of this dance. In some areas you could see they were thinking through it right there. They missed each other and had to gather themselves and pick it up. But they knew they weren't happy with their old rock and roll. They wanted to change it earlier in the year, but because there were so many competitions, they didn't have a chance. They were working since Christmas from 12 midnight till three in the morning to get this ready. They felt if they didn't do it, they would just be giving up. And I think they made the right choice. Well, Gay and John Swallow wait for the marks. Teresa Punselin, Liz's mom, is also in attendance. I was ready for you to come through. The marks for Punselin and Swallow. And the first set of marks now for Liz and Jared. These are a little bit low, some of the judges. Picking up on that mistake. Presentation. And the second set of marks. Well, that's below the third Russian team and the Italians. And as you can see, the bottom four judges, Ukraine, Lithuania, fourth place. When we return to White Ring, Grishuk and Plan.